Well, I guess I'm ready to roll the dice if you are, Memo. <laughs> you want to help Memo get clipped in? Because I can't do it from the back seat. So I'm going to get in first so that I can get my straps. Just give me a second. Let me get this uh, ready. You just sit straight back. Yes, yeah, leg, leg. That looks good. That looks good. And then there's a chest strap right here. Yeah, that's it. And then there's another one over here. That's probably right here. And that's it. And your legs is out there. Are they comfortable, Memo? It'll be better. Just relax them on them bars. But once we're in the air, you can you can just let them dangle, Memo. I just left my legs like that right there. Okay. Just like sitting in a recliner. All right, I'm going to fire this thing up. Say cheese for mama real quick. Cheese is ready to go. <laughs> All right. Yep. Oh, it worked. Lucky you. <laughs> yeah, man, I'll just hold on. It's, it's pretty slow. It's bicycle speeds. We'll be off the ground in no time. Everything looks good. Left looks good. Right. No air traffic. All right. One, two, three, go. That's normal. Everything's good. The motor's sputtering a little, but we're good. Like if, if it'll be bouncing around when I add the subtract power, you'll feel it. I'm, I'm gonna try to go up till it's smoother though. You feel how much smoother it is at this altitude? Yeah. There's a lot less bumps in the air, so. No, you can't get too high. We're good, man. I'll take. I'm gonna take care of you. But this is it. This is what we do. Isn't it weird looking down slow like this? I can ride over here and look at your house. I was looking at it this morning. You can see that's uh, that's LeMay's Pond right there, off to the south. Yeah. That's Reagan's house to the right. Your house on the left. I believe that's your shop right there. Yeah. You see it good now? Yeah. Isn't that neat? You see Payne's back here to the left a little bit. Yeah. Huh. Big cutover out there. I want, who, that behind Beulah's old house right there. Oh, but dang. I took some people flying this morning and I, I flew over here and showed them your house. This is what it looks like when an airplane's coming into the runway here. So you can see Scott Allison's place right here to the left, just right off our left side toward the sun. That's, that's Scott's place there. See off to your left right here, my mom, that's Bull Huddleston's dirt, yeah. dirt area, the curve of the road there. And that's Stephen Hand's old house, I believe, for his, uh, uh, oh, I can't call where that big pond is at the curve. That's that big pond, and there's Putman's across the street. Oh, uh, I'm glad. I'm glad you come fly with me, my mom. Oh, this is yeah, smooth right here. As we get lower, it'll be a, in the, somewhere between here and the ground. We'll feel those bumps again. That's because we have wind in our face. That's a normal thing. And then below it, it'll it'll be a little smoother probably. But we'll see what it looks like. We'll do a couple of low passes over here and fly around low if it's good for it. That gives you a little different perspective on it. It's almost like you're driving at that point. You feel the motor move us when I when I hit it? That's called that's the propeller. You know, when it turns, it wants to push against something. That's called torque. But that that's what you feel whenever whenever I hit it. That's that's just a, that's just a normal sensation though. It's weird at first if you're not used to it, but once you understand it, but oh yeah, we've been to fly right by them. Let them take a picture of us, wave and smile at them. Okay. <laughs> See, there's those little bit of bumps. I'm gonna get on the controls here. Yeah, just relax. Are you comfortable, my mom? Yeah. Awesome. I'm gonna get my feet up here on the steer, and this is where I steer the wheel. So I usually just let my feet hang when I'm flying, but when I get low, I put them on the controls in case I need to drive. I see the wind's coming from the right a little bit. That's good. Just gonna warm the motor up before we get down there. There's a little turbulence. That's what I was looking for. That's what I'm looking for. 
Ooh, see we're getting dumped down now. Yeah. Gaining some speed, a little bumpy. Low flying. This is this is pretty fun when it's real smooth. See, it's a little bit bumpy, just a little bit. It's not even as clear as it can be. Sometimes it's just in, you can see forever, infinity. You see the buildings in Shreveport out in the distance. I can't see them tonight. Sometimes you can. Well, Memo, if you got a good taste of it, I'm gonna see if I can land this thing. If we, if we like it, we'll take it. And if we don't, we'll go around and try another one. <laughs> I think I can do it, too. Woo. We'll just go down here and then come down low and then just fly it in low and kiss the ground. Right. Going to do a left 180 right about now. Woo. Heck yeah, we made it. I thought it was a pretty good one. It was a good one. Just know they can get better. They can get better. That was We found some good air, though. We was able to cruise around in the smooth air. What's real fun is when it's smooth like that down low. Mm -hmm. That's when it's a real treat. How was that? Oh, it was wonderful. Everybody likes it. Yeah, it was Jennifer's the only one that didn't like it. <laughs> No, there's probably a few others. No will, you, will you help? Will you help her get out, Mama? Yeah. Okay. For years, oh. Mama's been asking me to take her flying, and I've always just hem hawed about it. One day, she came up to the drugstore and asked me what time I was going out there. I said six o'clock. She said, "I'll see you there." So that's the story behind the genesis of this one. Thank you for watching. I'll catch y'all soon in the next one. Much love, Kyle out. Is it still recording? Oh, Jesus. I, I made a video as well. It turns out I didn't say anything to the camera. Sorry, y'all. See y'all next one.